mathematics. This video will help you understand on how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving basic operations on integers. Word problem may be routine or non-routine. What is routine problem? Routine problem involves using at least one of the four basic operations and or ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature. What about non-routine problem? Non-routine problem solving also referred to as Creative problem solving requires some degree of creativity or originality. Non-routine problems typically do not have an immediately apparent strategy for solving them. Oftentimes, these problems can be solved in multiple ways and with a variety of strategies. Solving word problem, there are several step-by-step -step process to be followed. One, understand. You have to know what is asked, identify the relevant facts or information, and identify the hidden fact. Number two, plan. Have to determine the operations to be used and write the mathematical sentence for the whole problem. Third, carry out. You have to solve the problem. Then write the final answer. Last number four, look back. After getting the final answer, Check if the answer is correct and sensible. At this time, get your pen and paper and together let's compute. You can pause this video for you to analyze thoroughly the given problem. Let's try to solve this non-routine problem following the steps. Mr. Billy's rate per day before the COVID-19 pandemic was 700. He worked for 25 days a month. If he spent the amount of 6,000 pesos for his clothing, foods, fare, and others, how much of his salary in a month was left? First, we have to understand the given problem. Know what is asked. In the problem, we are asking to find the amount of salary left in a month. Next, identify the relevant facts or information. Based on our given problem, our relevant facts or information are 700 pesos salary rate per day and 6,000 pesos money spent. Then, identify the hidden fact. The hidden fact of the given problem is the salary rate in a month for the 25 working days. Second, we have to plan. Let us determine the operations to be used. We have to use multiplication and subtraction. Next, write the mathematical sentence for the whole problem. Our mathematical sentence is 700 times 25 is equal to N. And remember, our N is the salary rate per month. And number two, 
n minus 6,000 is equal to n. Third is to carry out. We have to solve the problem. Let's solve first the salary rate per month. We have 700 per day times 25 days in a month. So 5 times 0 is equal to 0. 5 times 0 is equal to 0. And 5 times 7 is equal to 35. Next digit. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. And another 0. 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Now, let's add. So we have to bring down the two zeros. Then 5. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. And bring down 1. Our answer is 17,500. Next, let's subtract the amount of money spent which is 6,000 pesos from the salary rate per month which is 17,500 pesos. Let's subtract 17,500 pesos minus 6,000. The answer is 11,500 pesos. The amount of salary left in a month is 11,500 pesos. And finally, look back. This rate per day is 700 pesos for 25 days in a month. This rate will be 17,500 pesos minus his expenditures equal to 6,000 pesos. His salary left in a month is 11,500 pesos plus 6,000 is equal to 17,500 pesos. Our answer is correct and sensible. Read the problem, then answer the questions that follow. They were full of lollipops in the box. Ben took two pieces of lollipops every day. After two weeks, all the lollipops were gone. How many lollipops were there at the beginning? The problem, what is ask? A. The number of lollipops in the box. B. The number of lollipops left in the box. C. The number of lollipops bought in the market. And D. The number of lollipops ate for two weeks. The answer is letter A. Next, number two, what is the number sentence? A, two plus 14 is equal to N. B, negative two times positive 14 is equal to N. C, positive two times positive 14 is equal to N. And D, 2 minus 14 is equal to N. Our answer is letter C. Number 3, what is the correct answer? A. Positive 12. B. Negative 28. C. Positive 28. D. Negative 12.
The answer is letter C, 28. Next, a sprinkler was negative 8 feet below the ground. Mrs. De Guzman has a machine that digs negative 2 feet at a time. How many digs does she need to make in order to reach the sprinkler? So in number 4, what mathematical operation is to be used in the problem? A. Addition B. Subtraction C. Multiplication D. Division The answer is letter D, division. If there were 15 holes, how many exist holes if a dozen marbles were to fill up the holes? And number 5, what is the number sentence? A, 15 minus 12 is equal to 10. B, 15 plus 12 is equal to n. C. 15 plus 6 is equal to n. And D. 1 minus 6 is equal to n. Yes, the answer is letter A. 15 minus 12 is equal to n. Always remember kids that in solving routine and non-routine word problem, we have to follow the step-by-step -step process. First, we have to understand. Second, learn. Third, carry out. And the last one, we have to look back. That's all for today kids, and I hope that I make your math more easy and fun. See you on my next video.